Hi, welcome to Justina's Healthy Ghanaian Meals, where we meal prep healthy Ghanaian meals each week. Thank you all for watching me. I'm glad you are here. So this week, I will be making red bean stew. Yes, you heard me right, red bean stew. Well, for my bean stew, I will be making it with red onions, tomatoes, some bell pepper, and some homemade seasoning blend. I will also be showing a healthier way to enjoy and eat a kekru kalawoli. I will be making it from scratch with homemade seasoning blend, so stick around. As always, over here, we cook with less oil, more vegetables, herbs, and spices. So for this week's stew that I'm making, I will be using one fourth cup of palm oil. All right, so this week homemade seasoning blend that I'm making, ooh, ooh, ooh. I am, it's going to be smoke, yes, smoke. So I have scallion here, I have bell pepper, I have some garlic here, I have some spicy pepper here, and I have some shirley. I am going to put it on my grill and roast it and blend it. I love the smokiness of it whenever I'm making red bean stew. It just gives it a whole new smoky flavor where it's just delicious. Beans. So this week's soup that I will be making to go with my meals is Ghanaian light soup. Yes, who doesn't love Ghanaian light soup? In light soup, I will be using eggplant, butter beans, and peanut. Yes, if you grew up in Kumasi just like me or any other part of Ghana, this is the ingredients we use to make light soup. Yes, fill with vegetables. And for my mentioned before, so this week's soup, I will be using bone beef. Bone beef, whenever you cook it, it's so good for your skin, collagen, it makes your skin plush and all of that. So I love always cooking with bones in my soup to get all of the nutrients in it. I will also add some smoked fish that I have in the fridge, so stick around. So go ahead and cut my vegetables, roast mine, Ooh, yes, it smells so good. Roast my veggies to be blended. And I will also start boiling um, the vegetables for the soup. I will show you all of it. All right, I am getting the veggies ready to be roasted. And let me tell you, it smells so, so good. Mm-mm-mm. The great thing about making homemade seasoning blend is you can always save your leftovers, add oil on top, keep it in the fridge, and it can be meal prep ingredients already. So let's say you want to make something quick. You have all of this blend there. It's delicious. You just add whatever you want to add and you are cooking. I am getting two cups of beans. Whenever I boil my beans, I always add garlic, bay leaf, salt, and a little bit of pinch of spice. So when it cooks, it has flavor in the beans. So if you want to use just the beans alone, at least you know that the beans will taste amazing. Beans take a while to cook, so whenever you're making beans, you always cook your beans ahead of time, so when you're ready to make your stew, your beans is all ready to be used. Finish cutting up 
all of my veggies so let's get started today the theme is red I know I normally have a lot of colors but when I'm making red bean stew I like to keep all of my veggies red yes even my dress is red chopped tomatoes my chopped bell peppers let's get cooking What you see me adding is the homemade seasoning blend and the water from the blender that I use to rinse out the blend. I love the rich red color that you see. That comes from vegetables versus oil. This it's just so much better for your body and your health. Now I'm adding the bell pepper. Vegetables doesn't need to be cooked a long time, so I just keep adding the veggies as I go. Now I'm adding the tomatoes. I'm adding salt to taste and bay leaf at this point. Uh oh, it looks like I should have used a bigger pot. Next time, we'll do. I love cooking with lots of vegetables, so all of the juice released from the vegetables will be cooked with the beans, which will make it even more delicious. But it looked like I cooked way too much, so I'm scooping some to be used for a different dish another time. At this point, I'm adding the beans, and it looked like I needed more stew, so I added more stew to it. And also, I added some spices, which is the final spices, curry powder, turmeric powder, star anise seed, and nutmeg, just to just bring it all together and bring a sweet aroma to my meal.
please remember to lower your stove so your beans doesn't burn and the beans can cook slowly in the juice that has been released from the vegetables, the herbs, the spices, and you will have a delicious red beans stew. All right, so this video is coming to an end. I will create another video which will show how to make the soup that I mentioned step by step. Thank you and see you in the next video. Remember, new videos drop every Saturday, but I will drop three this week.